Our week 30 roundup starts with second versus third as Monaco hosted Lille at Stade Louis Du. And Valier, Germain found Munier Obadi at the back post. His clinical finish giving the Principality the lead. But soon after, Mendez and Kalou combined to find Duvak Oraji. And he equalised. 1 1 the final score. Not good for either side. Well, Christian Gokov said in the build up, Laurent Blanc wasn't a real coach, but it was all handshakes and smiles before Lorient PSG. And while Zlatan Ibrahimic didn't score, he was the catalyst for three points. A sensational flick to Jale before taking the return pass. Driving forward, a terrific one too with Blaise Matuidi. He found Cavani with a first touch pass. And then wonderful feet. Fabian Odeur did well initially, but the ball creeping past him and Thiago Motta on hand to stab home. 1-0, victory for Paris. Well, like Paris, Saint-Étienne took advantage of Monaco and Lille's stalemate to substitute Melblou Erding headed in Johan Molo's cross a minute after the break. And then Johan Pelle couldn't handle Renault Goad's strike, allowing Franck Dobano to make it 2-0, six minutes into the second half. So Show did have the deficit thanks to substitute Eduardo Butan, his second in three matches. But Cedric Bakambu saw red before Erding got his first league on brace since 2011. Now just three points behind Lille. Well, Lyon are also in the battle for a European spot and got a viable three points away to Gangon, thanks to Bafatimbi Gomez's 99th league on goal. And sets up nicely for the derby next week with San Etienne, the club he started his career at. 1 0, the final score. Oren stunned the Stade Velodrome as Abdullah Dakure inflicted their sixth home defeat of the season and eased the Britons' relegation fears. The terrific finish at the near post. 1 0, the final score. Obastia stopped the rot at home to Reims as Romanic's strike was too hot to handle. And Florian Raspantino. On loan from Marseille, got his first goal since December. Obaste ended the game with 10 men, but not before Gianni Bruno had made the point safe, breaking clear to finish with his sixth of the season. 2-0 to Bastia. Well, Toulouse looked on course for a fourth straight win in league and for the first time in two and a half years when Wissen Ben Yedda. Ball broke to him, showed great composure. That his 12th of the campaign, and incredibly his 6th in his last 6 games. But Evian gave their survival hopes a massive boost with a minute left as Clark Ensekulu was allowed to run from the halfway line and his left footed strike finding the bottom corner. A massive point for Pascal Dupré's men. Well, three games without a win had Bordeaux's hope of a return to Europe diminishing but we're on the verge of three points when André Biogo Boko went down in the area. You see, stepped up, the Brazilian showing no mercy. His first is returning from long-term injury and sixth of the season. But Lexi Bassetti falled in at the back post to level the scores. And both sides had to settle for a point. Well, not got the perfect tonic to pick them up as Serge Gakpé scored That's just after three minutes. His third of the season and second in three matches. Well, he then provided from the corner for a first league on goal for 21-year-old defender Kofi JJ. And only his third start since breaking through to the first team at the beginning of the month. Well, JJ would finish with an own goal to his name. Bonpelli, though, finished with nine men and lost the match. Valencian had the chance to climb off the bottom three and it was their Ghanaian saviour, Majid Varis, who got them ahead six minutes into the second half. Ajaxil responded as Paul Lan cut back for Benjamin André to level. But when Maior Meleksen won the penalty for Valencian, he looked on course for a massive win once Varis slammed in his eighth and 11 appearances since arriving in January. 
However, there was only one name on anyone's lips at the final whistle. Isa Baraji will take a bow. What an introduction for the 18-year-old on his league and debut. Well, how to better that? Why, score the winner and secure a Jack Seals first away win of the season. Well, only three home wins over week 30, with the biggest away result was the Jack Seals' first of the whole season. Wins for Paris Saint-Germain and Saint-Étienne put pressure on Monaco and Lille after their draw. So Paris, 10 points clear and a huge goal difference makes them almost certain to retain their title. The battle for Europe looks like becoming a three-horse race with six points between third and fifth. Well, one minute, Valenciennes were out of the drop zone. The next, they were three points adrift. Heartbreak for them, but a huge sigh of relief for Evian and all the sides in the bottom half at risk of being dragged in to the relegation dogfight. Well, it's a Friday night away date for Paris once again as they travel to Nice with Monaco away to Evian. Lille will hope they can secure three points at home to Gangong before Lyon and Saint-Étienne try and cut each other's throats in the derby. <laughs> 